Evening dog parents. It's mid-July 2022 and we're in the middle of the biggest heat wave we've had in a long time. In fact, we're actually expecting we could have the hottest day on record next week. So it's the prime sort of time where people like myself want to take the dogs down to the local lake or pond in order to keep the dogs cool. But unfortunately, particularly at times of year like this, there's a hidden danger potentially just lurking in the water. And they can kill your dogs in 50 minutes. So of course, I'm talking about blue-green algae. So this video is about how to spot it, how to avoid it, and what to do if your dog's exposed. Now, blue-green algae isn't an algae at all. It's actually a group of bacteria called cyanobacteria, but it looks like a bluish-greenish algae when it clumps together. Now, blue-green algae can take on a couple of different forms. It can look like little brown dots on the surface, or it can look like pea soup, or like swirls of paint. It can just look like a greeny slime in the water. But if the water is discoloured, and you see little flakes and things foam at the edges of the lake, as it tends to gather at the edges of the lake, you should definitely be suspicious and stay out. There are actually several different types of cyanobacteria, and not all of them are harmful. But because you can't actually tell whether it's harmful or not simply by looking at it, if in doubt, keep your dogs out. So some of the main symptoms of blue-green algae poisoning include vomiting, diarrhea, fitting and seizures. Some of the other symptoms include disorientation, breathing difficulties and drooling. And finally, your dog might show weakness then eventually collapse. Unfortunately, it is quite often fatal, so it's really important that you pay close attention to these symptoms and seek immediate help if your dog's been in the water and it suffers any of these symptoms straight after. Now, immediate action is really important if you suspect your dog is being exposed to blue-green algae because there is no treatment for the toxin produced by the blue-green algae. If you get to the vet in time, what the vet can do is try to make your dog sick and then try to flush out the toxins before they have a chance to take hold. But there's no cure. Now, with there not being a cure, avoidance has got to be the best strategy here. So whatever you do, do not let your dog drink water or enter water that you think could be potentially contaminated with blue-green algae. Now, fortunately, blue-green algae is most common between July and August, following long, hot, dry spells where there's been little rain, and particularly after a heat wave, which is a real shame, because that's when your dog's most likely to want to go into the water, and when you're most likely to let them as well. The other thing you should be aware of is blue-green algae is much more common in still lakes and ponds, although it can be found in streams and rivers as well. But definitely still water is best treated with a lot of suspicion as you approach it. Now, if your dog's like mine, and they tend to run ahead and just jump in without asking, it's a good idea when you're approaching the lake to just clip them on the lead and check it out before you let them off and let them in. Better still, if you can train your dog to wait the water's edge before going in, and ask it for permission, then that's even better. Now, if your dog has entered the water and you think they're being exposed to blue-green algae, if they've sort of drank any of the water, it's absolutely important you take them to the vet straight away so that they can make them sick and you know, try and flush out the toxins before they take hold. Because there's very little time to act and once the toxins do take hold, there just is no treatment for it. So it's always better to play it safe and err on the side of caution. If your dog's entered the water but you don't think they've drunk any, it's important that when you get them home, you wash them off immediately in the shower, give them a proper good bathe under running water, and make sure that you flush away any of the cyanobacteria that may be attached to the fur. Because quite often, dogs will get sick because they don't drink water at the time, but when they go to clean their fur afterwards by licking themselves, they'll ingest the cyanobacteria that way, and that will kill them too. So yeah, so give them a good bathe when you get home. Because blue-green algae is so dangerous to dogs, the environment agency or local authorities in the area will quite often put warning signs around water where it's been reported, but only if somebody has taken the time to report it. In the UK, you should call the environment agency. And I'll put the number below so you know what number to ring. There's also a really good app the dog owners should be aware of called Bloom and Algae. You can download it for Android or for Apple, and it lets you report uh, blue green algae if you spot it, take a photo and send it up for verification. And once it's verified, they'll pass it on to the local authorities. They'll go investigate and put signs up if necessary. You can also check out any reports in your area and see if anybody else has reported it. And you can see the status of whether it should be reported 
or whether it's been reported and verified. So if you're planning a walk, it's a really good idea in the summer months just to periodically check that and make sure that there's no sightings of blue green algae in your area. You can also set up alerts as well. So if it is spotted in your radio, in the radius that you set up, you'll get an alert on your phone to tell you that blue green algae has been reported in your area. So once again, I hope that's been useful. Keep those dogs safe.